Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Anno 1800. We are back in here with K Bob Lord in our co op campaign that we're starting up. And we're just going to jump back over into Discord with him and see where we go from there. The entire city aflame. Do what now? Sorry, I had, I had it muted for a second. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, my, my city is burning. Your city is burning. Oh, your city is really burning. You, you have a problem. Yeah, some, someone was too stupid to cook. <laughs> so I have to think twice about giving them access to sausages. So you can't cook your sausages correctly, then you don't get sausages at all. Exactly. Okay, who wanted this and, uh, okay. Archie wanted that over there. George has another quest for us. If you don't make a change, most another uh, pickup quest, four thousand money. Okay. Oh, that's uh, right next to the next place we have to go. So good deal. I just looked at our money. <laughs> yeah, we have no money. What happened? <laughs> I don't know what happened. I haven't built or bought anything. <laughs> Maybe it was me. <laughs> I was just building slaughterhouses. <laughs> we lack. Well, I'm doing some quests right now that'll give us some more money, so. Uh, let's see. But yeah, hey, we... at least my people get now sausages. <laughs> We're broke, but we have sausage. Yes. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What are all our people doing down here on the on the on the main island here? Everybody's pretty good. Everybody's happy other than the no beer or uh beer or soap yet. That's fine. Yeah, uh, I will soon have to increase the working clothes production. And maybe sausage production a bit. Okay. But as I said, soon, as soon as you expand the city further. Yeah. And now we still have like 10% overproduction, which is okay. Yeah, we've got a little overproduction. The, uh... Yeah, work clothes are at minus two. Although, okay, I'm, huh, that's odd. So it has a potential of 18... So, one of the clothes is not producing correct. Uh, yeah, and I can tell you why. Because the storage is full. Oh. Well, that would be why. Okay. Yep. Proactivity goes down when they cannot unload their stuff. Okay. Alright, so it's actually okay for the moment. We're overproducing Yeah, yeah, slightly. it's a positive problem. It's a positive problem to have. Oh, you could even filter by profit. That's really neat. I don't even want to look at that when you build the steel industry and see how much that costs. You don't want to. Yeah, you don't. It's got, it just it'll make me it'll make me cry. I don't want either, but it just <laughs> needs to be done. <laughs> it has to be done. Uh, let's see. I'm going to I'm gonna I'm gonna sell off some a little bit of our excess. Yeah. Give us a quick Adjusted cash item. injection here. I mean, you know, those those high Station. high sellers of clothes and schnapps. Hmm. Fish must be full. Not bad. Well, yeah, balance is now quite nice. Yep, it's getting there. 
between our two cities and stuff that we've built here. I'm going to rename our cities. Yeah, I was kind of looking at that, thinking, you know, I'm, I'm trying to decide what to... So, capital. If you call... It, it, you need to call that, like, District 12 or something. Okay. <laughs> District... I was thinking from, uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Movie. I go through the different districts up to District 16 or whatever that was. <laughs> yeah. So, but in that case, it was not capital, it was capital, like with O, if I recall yeah, correctly, I at least in the German version. Yeah. So. Right. So, better. All right, Your let's... pleasure. Well, there's a little more money again. On our way. Yay, we are rich. Soon we to be money. bankrupt again. <laughs> <laughs> That was another thing, another reason I decided to start over from my previous series was uh, I had reached the gold, the money, the coin cap or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah I noticed that for you. One, like, uh, one billion thing. Yeah, you can't go to one billion. It stops. I'm like, well, that's just disappointing. The question is, does it stop or does just the UI stop? You know, I don't know. The UI just stops. It says 999... Yeah, yeah, because you can actually check that if you just buy all the gramophones from Archibald Blake, uh, which yeah. is uh, like 20 million. And if it's then still at 999 million, then you know, ah, okay, just the UI stopped. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little, it was a little disappointing. I'm like, well, I just, I have all the money now. Now it's just not fun anymore because I have all the money. Take the rudder. Go pick up. What am I picking up for for this? I'm picking up the book. Oh, no, I'm, I'm picking up a book of illiterate children. No. I'm picking up oh, illiterate yeah. children. <laughs> oh, and then I have to pick up a reputable schoolmaster. I'm hopeful yet. Oh my god, my people are now consuming way too many sausages. <laughs> Sausage party! Yay! <laughs> oh, look at all this money we have. Yeah, yeah, it happened so quickly. We can move some houses around again and keep trying to rearrange for uh, trains later. Yeah, I also did not plan for trains yet. I, I figured I'd get ahead of, ahead this time because normally I'd never plan for trains and then I'm like screwed up. I mean, as soon as electricity comes in, I'm going to reorganize the entire uh, industry anyways, because, well, it does not influence farms and stuff like that. Yeah. So that is when I really start with uh, industrial districts. Wait, we are going down on fish? No, 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 no. no. Oh, we can't go down on fish. Ah, you you sold some, right? Oh yes, I did. I we were we were okay. at that, that, yeah. yeah, we were at capacity. Okay. That explains it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to grab everything that I saw that was maxed out and like constantly and just sell a little bit of excess just for quick cash grab. Okay, so I will now start buying steel uh, in the second island. By up to 450 tons. <laughs> That's a lot of steel. Yeah, that is something that the AI is never going to sell to me. Archie will some. And I also accept bricks, just in case my own trade route is a bit too slow. Now 
Now wait a minute, why do these worker houses only cost 12 to move, and the last time I moved one it cost 62? I believe it's also the distance of moving. Is it? Oh, it yep. is, because that one just cost me 112. Huh. Yeah, I'll learn something new. Okay. Are you ready for steel? Oh god, it's gonna hurt me, isn't it? Oh yes. <laughs> uh... You're not going to enjoy it. <laughs> oh, do it then. Just bring on the steel. And, yeah, the trade route decided, ah, fuck your bricks, I'm now taking them all with me. <laughs> oh, newspaper. What we got? Yeah, that's totally okay. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Publish away. Okay, I think I have part of the, yeah, I think I'm good on the layout for, the, for my train tracks later. We will see. Future will tell. Yeah, I've got some double roads going. That way I can delete one of them. I mean, I'll have to move some houses around for the actual power plant itself, but at least the track layout is there, mostly. Okay, and now I have to bring this down to Ordinance George. Started. George has another quest available. He just wants to give me all the quests. Yeah, isn't that nice of him? It is. Uh, he wants 12 sails? Well, I can do that. I can go pick up some sails on my way down there. Okay. Okay, I will start with one iron deposit first, to, just to not crash our uh, balance entirely. Yeah. George wanted, what, 12 sails? I can give him that. Oh yeah, we need more bricks first. Sail. Uh, need more bricks? I might be able to go and... Ah, uh, that is a... Oh, that's just Archie's got 150 bit. bricks at the moment. You can go buy some. Or we just wait a little bit. It's your decision. Oh, I'll get you some bricks real quick. We've got a little extra. we got some spare cash. Yeah, we've also quite a nice income for now. Yeah, for, for like the next couple of minutes. So it's your decision. Either I go for three steel foundries or two steel foundries and two weapon factories. I mean, two steelworks and two weapon factories. Do we need all? Do we need that many steelworks to start? Uh, one steelwork produces one steel beam every forty-five seconds. Hmm. Meaning, with uh, three steelworks, we would still have to wait. Uh, yeah, then we still only get four per minute, and you know how yeah. expensive buildings get later. Yeah. Um. Yeah, build what you want. I'll catch up. Well, the question is more, do we need cannons? I think one cannon, one weapon factory would be okay for the moment, because we are going to have to be dealing with pirates.
Um, it produces one cannon every minute and a half. Okay, I will go for two iron mines for them. Yeah. And plus, at some point, I'll be able to buy, and I might buy a few ships from Archie as well, once we can start affording to, you know, have nice luxuries like that. Now we're about to have a nice little injection of cash from these two quests after I turn these in. On our way. You've got something for me, haven't you? Such kindness humbles me. Sales. Brought this tiresome business. That took no small amount there of There we go. Ordnance spotted. Alright. Customs of deck size, eh? There we go. Here comes a hundred bricks for you. That'll work. Thank you. And it didn't even, it only cost like 5,000. So, that was like one quest turn in. Can't wait to have enough money to sit here and just decorate for like an hour. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. I don't enjoy decorating that much. Oh, I love it. It's like the most peaceful, calming thing ever is to sit around and decorate. Decoration is not efficient. <laughs> it can be. I, I somehow maybe make it efficient somehow. I said no. <laughs> Oh, come on. Just one little, just, you know. Yeah, I mean, um, building the zoo and the museum in my playthrough was already the maximum. <laughs> yeah, we are definitely going to accept the 12,000 he's giving us. Uh, oh, yes. Free trade and all. We'll definitely take that. This is a landmark moment. Nice. Very nice. Game save. Okay, Schooner's on his way. He's on his way. What other quest for some cash do we get? Why not share some of my uh, Another delivery See you quest. On the other side. Six steel beams and eight tons of bricks. Now it's gonna be a bit. What does he have? Now, when an you can just buy that. Queen and country. Fine. Fine. Oh. Hmm. Move. I don't like the movement speed decrease though, because the pirate ships are already fast. You know. Yeah. Still, still do the quest, of course. I'm increasing our income a little bit by expanding the city on the second island. Okay. It's getting a bit very large. Oh, that's actually actually right. So, if I wanted to, oh, that is so much fun. What? I just did the the uh, the big copy thing. <laughs> oh, that is lovely. I think I've it, it's I think I found my new favorite thing. <laughs> Yeah, it feels very satisfying. It does. It's very satisfying. Just a, a huge copy and paste. Pick up some gold from... Archie, come on. Well, that's certainly and take that to Madame Kahina. Can do. Schooner is finally here with all those bricks. Took forever. There's you some bricks. Go to town. So I definitely need to increase the industry on this island. Yep, I do. <laughs> after, <laughs> after that. <laughs> 
Oh, he's patch? offering us 20,000. Yeah, he is. For a non-aggression pack? Sure. You want a medal? You want a yeah, medal? I, didn't... I do want a yeah, medal. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't want to kill him that fast. Yeah, he's kind of given, like, a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, we can still kill him later. Yeah. I mean, a five-hour non-aggression pack for 20,000? Given us 20k? I'm, I'm not mad about that. Yeah, it's also more fun to kill him once he has already achieved something. True. Well, something I have not done at all on this island is uh, build any depots for, for you to store all of your, your goods you've been making in. I need more charcoal. Attention for the Admiral. Yet? Yeah, you are. Her Majesty might approve. And let me guess, you want that brought back down to you? Yep, of Sail. course you do. Ebony wood. Okay. I know where you live. Oh, well, my income is, the income is still not terrible. Oh, uh, trust me, I could change that. No, 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 no. I was kidding. I... Afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Messing up my nice balance up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Just living for the moment. What's George doing? George has got a he's got a nice little city. He's at Artisans. Yeah, somehow they do that step actually quite quickly. I don't think they have to deal that much with pursuit production due to them cheating. Oh yeah, they don't. They don't actually. They don't actually have to produce goods for their citizens. I think it's on like a, it's a, I think it's a random timer after they upgrade to one tier. I think it's a random timer to upgrade to the next tier for them. They don't actually have to supply goods to their citizens. Yeah, that seems likely. Yeah, because I, I almost I want to say that I, time like I watched them one time or I watched somebody do something where they blockaded an entire island to where no goods could come to that island. And they couldn't produce everything they needed to upgrade to the next tier. And they still upgraded to the next tier. So it's like, yeah, you cheating. Well, yeah, that was also the same why I was besieging Lady Margaret Hunt. And she was still producing warships. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like... You can't do that. Had a rip roaring time of it. I did have a rip roaring that time of it. First rate. I'm quite penetrated by your kindness, is what he just said to me. <laughs> that sounds wrong on so many levels. It's so not right. <laughs> All right. I bought some steel and some uh, bricks. Oh, there went my income. <laughs> well, our heavy industry is slowly taking shape. Yes, it is. And weapons are actually a really good thing to sell, too, because you'll always be overproducing them. Yeah, yeah, I will be uh, placing like uh, four cannon foundries. Oh, jeez. Okay. Lots of cannons. My roots. Yeah. Bada boom. Oh, yeah, the pirates have their little, uh, their small fleets sailing around at the moment. Their little fleets. Now let's see if I can copy something on one island. Oh, that'd be interesting. And then jump to the other island. 
Yep, I can. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I can carry it over to another island. Huh. That is really nice. It's like they actually thought it through. Yeah, it is amazing. I'm so not used to that by, Ub uh, by Ubisoft interface designers. Yeah, seriously. Oh, there went our income. Want me to increase our income again? <laughs> what did you build over there? Uh, just two bread layouts. Ah. A little bit of income. Some more farmers get some more workers voila more money oh that's right eli wanted what did eli want six beams and eight bricks okay can do And breaks to Eli. Oh, God, my income. Our income. <laughs> Don't forget, this is Soviet Anno. <laughs> Yeah, I started building the cannon production. Look sharp. Well, at least we can offset the can the uh, deficit with by selling by selling things for a little bit until we uh, get more product more uh, goods coming Stations. out. Yeah, because really the last things we have to build now are soap and beer. Yeah, but now that we are producing steel beams, that's something that I can manage soon. Yeah. Oh, don't forget, you have that uh, item that increases the ironworks and foundries by 25%. All right. I tend to forget the items. Oh, see, I'm obsessed with items. Ironworks and foundries, 25%. And that, I believe that also counts for weapons factories. Okay, that means I also need 25% more. So I can just get rid of one third of them. Yeah. Okay, that of course means my entire layout is now going to ship. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me of that, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> I will always remind you of items that can, like, you know, help save space. Oh, I have a giant fire going on here. I've got plenty. Yeah, I could probably use another fire station. Yeah, there we go. Mobilize more fire. Now, don't burn down the city. Put the fires out.
Yep, it also counts for the weapon factory. Yeah. Yeah, because I believe I had a, I had like an upgraded version of that in my other city. Yeah, I once had, uh, in my main playthrough, I actually had an item that was able to also let them randomly increase, uh, randomly produce steam machines. Oh, I, those are my favorite items. Um, it produces, I used to have, there's a chart on the wiki that shows like how many, like, it's like, sometimes it's like every four productions of the main item, you get one of whatever it says it gives you extra. They're very, very handy. I think I was supplying the majority of my gramophones to my city with those items. <laughs> I never even produced gramophones yet. Yeah. There was, I'm there slow. Was, there were several <laughs> things like that where I was actually I was using items to produce the stuff I needed instead of actually building the chains for it. Case closed. Speaking of items. You have anybody that's my good? Life is my uh, prison. actually, I'm, ooh, ooh, never mind. I can't, I can't afford that. I'm so used to having so much money just buying whatever I want. But it would have been a nice item to have. Increased, uh, increased productivity of mines by fifty percent, and decreased workforce needed by seventy-five percent. Yeah, those items are always nice. Especially for steel production. Yeah, or gold. I use them for gold a lot in the new world. I usually just buy gold from Eli. I got My population got so big that it wasn't enough. I was needed so much gold. It was ridiculous. Yeah, I'm going to have a little overproduction on steel itself. Oh, that's fine. We'll always need lots of steel for a while. Yeah, I don't mean steel beams, just steel. Okay. Again, for quests and stuff. Also because it would destroy the symmetry of my production. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> All right, let's see. See what? Our steel production? Or what do we want to take a look at? No, oh, I was I was seeing uh, soap. If we were how close we were for soap. Well, I can start in a few minutes with a soap production. Yeah, I just get on up to artisans and start getting better money coming in, and then we get to go to the new world and deal with that. Your city has grown more beautiful. Ready for assignment. Ooh, George has another quest. Everyone should work for their Holy core. crap, 13,000. Yes, please. Fight for what do you want? You, have to. you wanted to have a trade union. Oh. Your hard work is paid off. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that was quick. It, like, it didn't even pop up with the quest. <laughs> Like it didn't, it didn't even show me what the quest was. <laughs> well, there we go. Easy. <coughs> All right. More workers. God knows we have to have a lot of workers in the end. Yep, but I mean we saved a lot due to the item. Uh, in the um, yeah. trade union. Yes, agreed. 
Okay, I need to decorate the industry district a little. Decorate? It's, what is this yeah, word you just used? Yeah, fuck you. Um, <laughs> so, there's a tree, and there's a tree. Now it's green. I, I put a well in your industrial area as well. Where exactly? Oh, you have to find it. Where is the well? It's a watering. It's a watering deconstruct hole. Deconstruct it. Watering hole for the for the horses. Horses have to drink. They need water. For that we have ocean. <laughs> <laughs> You don't need no water, just drink from the ocean. I don't care if you die from that. It's called natural selection. <laughs> it's not my fault you don't have mutation for salt water. Your name is not Kevin Costner and this is not Waterworld. <laughs> well, I actually like that movie. I do too, it got a lot of flack. Like, it, got a, it gets a lot of flack from people, but I enjoy it. It's fun. So, industry district finished. I mean, heavy Let's industry. Let's take a look at it. That's very, very nice looking. Look, he's even got some trees out front. I wish the trees in this game did like the trees in uh, Anno 2070, where they would, the more pollution there was, they would like get dead, like look dead and all yeah, that sickly. Was... Yeah, that was a great world feedback that they introduced with 2070. It was. I really wish it would do that in here. Though in general, I have to say that uh, 2070 was, in my opinion, in regards of the graphics, too gray, too cold, yeah, and too sterile. The graphics weren't... There was, there was something about the graphics in that game that just looked off. Hey, it's snowy. Never snows here where I'm at, like in real life. It just never snows. Well, it only happens very rarely by now here where I am. Like, we might get, like, a dusting of snow, like, maybe, like, an inch. And when it does, like, everything in the state Very shuts safe. down. Like, everyone has a panic attack and. Everyone goes to the grocery store and they all buy um, milk, bread, and eggs. I don't know. Wow. Why. Yeah, they do. If they call for snow, you go to the grocery store, there is no milk, bread, or eggs. I'm just like, what's everybody going to do? Have egg sandwiches with a glass of milk if they can't leave the house? It's very strange. Well, let's not, let's not dive deeper into how American people think. Yeah, we're a, we're a special lot sometimes. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's agree to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really wish the duck pond did not have the plaza around it. it doesn't make any sense. like it hmm. yeah, I don't have access to any of my good ornamentals yet until like artisans artisans has really good ornamentals well, I like the engineer ornamentals yeah they do have some good ones there too I agree and I was really disappointed by ones of the investors yeah there's like two yeah and they're kind of, and they're just not even that exciting looking. Whenever I see a world map of a game, I hope they still bring a desert DLC. That would be like, really cool if they would. Like East India Trading Company style. Well, you know, they did that, um, they had that survey that came out, you know, a couple months ago. That said, that asked about different biomes and different parts of the world for different, like, make possible future content. And on the world map, there is a, you can see the a desert very, area. Yeah, the yep. desert area. 
And I don't think they would have added that for no reason. Because they had the Arctic area, and that was for the passage. Yeah, and that is why I keep my hopes up. Because it would also be great uh, story-wise to, for example, go with the first signs of uh, Mahatma Gandhi's movement. The Queen lo slowly losing power over that area. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ho I'm really excited to see what kind of DLC they announce for next year because they said they have plans to do more DLC. Yeah, but they also announced that uh, those have been all DLCs for the season pass, so either there will be a true add-on or another season pass. Yeah. What you mean? I'm I'll be okay with another season pass. I think. Then you are one of very very few people out there. <laughs> I know. So, yay, we have Steel Beam's production. And it works. Oh, good. Uh, an escort quest for 8,800 money. Okay, I can do that. Go over and bring our flagship over and escort away. So, once we have a few more breaks, I will... I will start with a soap production. Okay, well, here's our newspaper again. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that's, like, amazing. Publish away. Compromising journalism. I've started building a few little parks. Well, started the layouts for a few. Okay. I've got to get my artisan so I can get access to some of the good ornaments. So that means that you will soon... Soon will start the phase where you will be completely different than me in regards of build style. Yeah, because like this right here is just to get the population we need to get the ball rolling. Here pretty yeah, soon yeah, I'll that... start moving it all around. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look that dissimilar to what I built on the second island. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my early stuff... Yeah, my early stuff is very, like, just basic. Just clumping it all in, just getting people crammed in so I can get some population moving. Then I start rearranging it all later. Because trying to, like, build it realistically or quote realistically and everything from the start is the most tedious time consuming thing ever uh -huh. but it that is nice. why i'm not doing it <laughs> <laughs> i really wish i had some like uh pictures from anno 1404 when i used when i played that because i i did build some really i used the iaam mod and i did build some really really cool looking stuff in there what I notice is that, um, in regards of YouTube, NO1404 always works. Yeah. It's an evergreen. It never gets old. Everyone loves NO1404. I found your watering hole. You found my watering hole, finally? <laughs> no, I heard it being destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> the poor horses. Oh, me. Do we need any more uh, room in the... Yeah, we could use another depot, actually. So, time to start with a soap production. Yeah, once we get... Okay, I need... I'm actually going to... Well, oh, well, never mind. I was about to build you another depot to have a little more storage space. Come on, brick workers. Give me bricks. Stations. Or just I'll just go buy some from Archie, because they're cheap. The good thing is as soon as we got artisans, I can actually scale down the um schnapps production. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I do like how they did that, where, you know, as you upgrade stuff, it doesn't need always the same stuff from the previous uh, the previous other tier. Well, interface-wise, I find that confusing. Oh, really? 
Yep. I'm not a huge fan of that. Because it's basically breaking rules that have been established over several titles of the franchise. Ah, uh, true. Yeah, they they did make quite a few changes with this one on how it worked. If I must be a good citizen, attention for the Needless to say. Yes, begin the escort. I love looking at the statistics menu. Yeah, it's nice. It is nice. It's a very, very handy thing to have. Yeah, they designed it quite well. Yeah, was... they did. I mean, they took forever. I know people were complaining about it on Reddit constantly about not having access to it. But I'm glad that they took their time with it and made it look really nice and made it work well. So many pig farms. <laughs> I know I saw that down there. There's a lot of pig farms. I forgot how many I had in my last series. Well, um, cuz I had that one island that I I was able to cram like 20 something pig farms around a single trade union. Yeah, join the club. I had to do the same <laughs> to yeah, utilize like, all oh the items God. in there. <laughs> yeah, but like they were like producing at like three hundred percent or something. It was ridiculous. It was very very nice. All right, a little a little boost of bricks. I'm gonna build another depot. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a school put down. Oh, never mind. I can't. You spent all my bricks. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, so that we now have a proper soap production. Okay, that's fine. Guys, I'm going to get go ahead and get a school down once we get uh, 25 bricks. Fuck education if you can have soap. <laughs> Who cares about education? You smell good. Exactly. So, we now got all three soap factories. We only needed one, but I wanted to have a slight overproduction for trade reasons. Okay. And yeah. I wonder how many pig farms I'm going to build on the second island. I don't know. Get my ba Let's get our balance. I'm going to get our balance. Try to get our balance fixed first. Raya. Do that. So, trade route. Another route, but in this case, for steel beams. I mean, don't worry. Soon enough, we have soap. And then we can actually upgrade the people to artisans. Yeah. Start having plenty of money at that point. I mean, it will only take like 30 minutes until we are bankrupt. Ah, uh, hopefully in 30 minutes we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, we should. If we're not, then, you know, I have, maybe I don't know how to play Anno as good as I thought I did. Yeah, 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 then it's time for Seppuku. <laughs> Just gonna go all out with it. Constructed. So I see a couple of buildings without access to a road. Yeah, I'm rearranging a bunch of this right here. I had this plan, I had this layout in my head, and now it's not working. I think I've got to redo this. Something did not work quite right. Alright, hold on. 
I'll just take a, a uh, thing from your book and I'm just gonna destroy a bunch of stuff. Yeah, destruction! <laughs> Look at that, people get soap, people get happy. They're like, I can be clean. The power of soap. Ah, oh, great. District go. 1 is burning again. <laughs> it's like, dang it, District 1. We're burning. Again, people too stupid to cook their food properly. Escort's going fine. Oh, that's Ooh, good. Okay. Fire at night also looks beautiful. Yes, it, I agree. It does. It looks very nice at night. There we go. All right. Soap has been... Yep, soap is fulfilled. Now I just need to... Uh, I need... 23 brick I need 25 bricks yeah I need 25 bricks and then I can build a school and then we can get our first artisans finally nice and then you can prepare the expedition to the new world I can do that because I'm definitely not good at expeditions <laughs> I like Georgia City go I haven't taken a look at it lately let's take a look Oh, it is very nice looking. He leaves a lot of uh, interesting one tile gaps between a lot of roads. Mm -hmm. Fills them with trees. Yeah, that is where he will later put the railroad. Mm, okay. Yeah, he does make very nice little cities. I like doing that layout right there with the uh, three by the three by three with the one three in the middle. Mm hmm. I also do that quite often, actually. Ship constructed. Yeah, there we go. Good deal. Let's see. Oh, we've been going for about 50 minutes now. I'm going to end this particular episode. Oh, you too? <laughs> yeah, I was just like, oh, it's, we've been going for 50 minutes now. So I'm going to mute real fast, end this one, and be right back. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining us. We have been uh, expanding quickly, going broke, getting money, going broke, getting money. It's very interesting. I'm enjoying this quite a bit right here. As you can see, I've started moving around a few things and making the city, start trying to green the city up. Um, as I was telling K-Bob Lord earlier, you know, I'm, this is just to get the population in. I've got to go back and start making the city look like mine, the way I like to build. But we will get there in the next couple of episodes once we get to artisans and I can really start beautifying everything. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Join me in the next one. Take care, guys.